Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just uh, wanted to do a uh, quick response. Um, I was watching the elder Apostle Gabar's video. So now the gang banging mentality is a part of the gospel. All right. And um, the title of this page is Israelite, um, which will probably be hard for you to find. So what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description box so that if you're not subscribed to the Apostles new page, you can get it because it's constant edification. And that's what it's all about. And he's uh, doing a response uh, to the whole, you know, uh, ISUPK, IUIC fiasco, you know, which, you know, these two groups dis displayed some very uh, feminine, weak, worldly uh, characteristics, which, you know, uh, one or the other could have spared themselves, you know, the, the fury, because these men are going to pay for this. We have to understand that, you know, as we're teaching this word, you know, what we say, we're held accountable for our actions as uh, stewards, you know, and uh, disciples, you know, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Now, you know, we know that these two groups are off for various reasons, but um, that's not what this uh, lesson is for. You know, the apostle said something here at the, uh, around this marker. I'm going to play it because it's very, very true. You know, and I was, uh, it, it, it hit me. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Here's the book of Romans, the 12th chapter. Oh, 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 let's get all this, let's get all this meat off this bone here. Like I said, well, Apostle Tar said it first, and I'm echoing his, his sentiment. Uh, there are things that happen that when it happened to certain guys, instead of applying the scriptures, that's the last thing they do. They go to carnal root. They don't apply the scriptures. And he said that years ago, and that is so true. Now, you heard that. He said there's particular things that'll happen to men, all right, who are uh, so-called believers in the Bible. And the first thing they do is lean on what they've been taught Okay, in Babylon the Great, as opposed to what we're being taught according to the Holy Scriptures. Now, when you deal with this situation between these two camps, the best thing to do in that situation, if you're not going to deal in the Scriptures, is to walk away. Because either of these men can say the other was wrong, you see. But now, the way you reacted to the wrong of the other makes you wrong. Now Satan got both of you, and now you both have to pay. And we, as you know, teachers of this truth, have to watch out for these traps and snares that Satan are going to set up. Now there was an instance where uh, the these ISUPK men, you know, went and set up at a spot, you know, where Great Millstone brothers teach, and they were screaming and berated and just being absolutely wicked. But the brothers just kept teaching. They didn't get into a shouting match. Now the flesh, all right, the way that Satan works, he puts the spirit on people to do things and say things that make you want to react. They make you want to defend yourself. They make you want to, you know, get just as carnal as them. But see, that's why we have to put off the flesh and walk in the spirit, and that way we win. Now if you walk away in this situation... The other one may call you a coward. They may even make a video saying we ran these niggas off the block. And that's what they're going to do anyway. Because that's what ISUPK glories in. Glory, they glory in carnality. You see, they glory in uh, 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 the, the pride of life. You see, which has nothing to do with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And they're going to pay for putting that image out there. The Heavenly Father through His Son never set up a bunch of uh, pseudo tough guys. You see? We're spiritual warriors, and, and what makes us manly is the Holy Spirit. We're standing on our feet via the Holy Spirit, not by any carnal means. We're not tough guy. Remember, we're sheep amongst wolves. 
So this whole persona of putting on all black and screaming as loud as you can with a microphone and no cowards. And it's funny, they never take that no coward approach with non-believers that they sit in front of constantly doing interviews. But anyway, both of these camps are off. But the, 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 the thing I wanted to focus on is uh, here in um, Romans, the 12th chapter, which that's the scripture that the other apostle Gabar had up. Now it says, recompense to no man evil for evil. So the way that Satan works is someone will do evil to you. And then you feel like you got to do evil right back to them. You see, just to be justified, just to say, I got my lick back. And that is a spirit a lot of us deal with, right? But do you know that, yeah, that man is wicked. Yeah, that man was wrong. But the way you reacted to that man's wickedness makes you just as wrong. So we have to be careful in how we respond to these traps and different snares that Satan set up. All right. In this world and in Israel, man, because these men are absolutely wicked. So recompense to no man evil for evil. You know, now, you know, when I was coming up, you know, calling a man a bitch, you know, where I was from, you know, that, those were fighting words. Calling a man a hoe. You know, those were fighting words. I remember I got to college in uh, Louisiana and that was just how they talked. They just playfully call each other, you know, bitch. And things like that. And I, you know, there was a few times I almost got into fights, you know, but that, you know, but, but, but two men who, who supposedly understand the scriptures sitting up there yelling, you a hoe, you a bitch is not a, a behavior that, 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 that the heavenly father through his son expects from us. These were two terrible examples and the heavenly father did that for a reason. You see? Now, it says, recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. You have to remember, you are an example, okay? When you have this word in your hands and when you're out on the highways and the byways teaching, telling Israel they need to repent, you know, uh, breaking down the scriptures, there's a standard you have to hold yourself to. You see, you can't be self-willed. You have to look out for the benefit of the body, all right, over your emotion and your flesh, man. It says, if it be possible as much as lied with you, live peaceably with all men. You see? And we've seen examples of brothers of Great Millstone trying to deal with these camps in a peaceable matter, on a, on a, on a scriptural matter, okay? And get completely, you know, called rapists and screamed at and bums and pedophiles in front of the whole crowd you see what i'm saying so as we say brothers it's best to not even walk up to these guys and if you come to your camp spot where you're teaching and you see these men set up just go teach somewhere else because this 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 current world belongs to esau either way it goes it's not our block it's not uh, their block it, it, it ultimately is esau's block here it is, you got Jake in the in, in in this world that claims streets. You know, I'm from, you know, East 14th. And then Esau changed the name of it to International. <laughs> and, 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 and now what? See, these you, you don't own these streets. We're just vessels chosen by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, sent out into this world. To go in a, in a particular corners, you may uh, like it, and you may have grown accustomed to it. Like uh, this week, last week, we we went to camp, and there was a group of Edomites set up with some folly where we usually camp. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna argue with them, and we're gonna say, "Well, hey, we we're usually here." No, you find another spot and you bring the word out. That way. Everybody uh, uh, is able to be what they are. But if you go over there, you start an argument and, and, and bug out, you can become guilty just as well as them. They're already Satan. So you can't allow Satan to turn you into Satan. You have to keep your eyes single, which leads to peace and puts you in the best position to receive mercy. 
and not judgment. Because that's what Satan does. He walks around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour to sift you. Any, anywhere where he sees that you're playing on your flesh, he's going to jump in, okay, and then cause you to sin. See? Which puts you in a, in a, in a position to where now you got to, hey, you got to catch yourself or because men are proud, they won't catch it. And then eventually judgment comes, man, and this is how it works. So you have to be mindful of, of, of these things in the world, man, and in this truth amongst brothers and amongst these other camps, okay? Because someone is being negative and evil and wicked, that doesn't give you to go ahead to be negative, evil, and wicked. You still have to apply the scriptures as the elder apostle Gabar said, the apostle Tahar said, when things happen to men, the last thing they think, when they feel wronged, the last thing they think about is Yahawashai, the Holy Spirit, the body. How, does, how do I look? The scriptures say, a wise man knoweth when he slippeth. All right, so it says, if it be possible as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dear, dearly beloved, and that's what you do, all right? Even when you see a camp that you may not agree with, there's a way to just say shalom and you, you keep it moving. Or if you're going to deal in the scriptures, there's a way to debate in the scriptures and go over these things, man, without it becoming toxic. Now, men's voices may raise, but ultimately we have to uh, uh, keep uh, uh, the, the, the edification at the uh, forefront of our mind, in the fear of the Lord at the end of the day. Because that's what, uh, what this video proved, is that these men have no fear of the Lord. Okay? Now, does this mean that we at Great Millstone haven't had instances and, and, and situations and haven't had to grow through things and become better at particular things? And uh, Yes. No, I mean, that, that we, we, we as well. We're, we're in the flesh, all right? But the example that we put forth is edification at the end of the day, and we've grown past particular behaviors and, and, and screaming and all of that, man. Verse 19, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. You see that? Vengeance is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that person is wicked <laughs> and, and, and did a wicked deed, okay? But that doesn't give you the go ahead to try to create your own vengeance, man. And many of us have been guilty of this, all right, uh, 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 in and out of the truth. <laughs> You create your own vengeance, and then you act as if it was the Heavenly Father's doings. And many men have done that. Totally disregarded Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the laws, the standard, the way that we are to handle things, the, 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 the instruction, and went their own way, man. And many applauded them in that wickedness, man. So vengeance is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's, man. All right, it says, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. See that? Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Hey, you want the spot, man? We'll have the spot. Y'all can have it, man. They, they screaming at you, calling you all types of names, saying you're a coward. All right, man, we just go go preach over here, bro. Y'all have a good one. Hey, Shalom. Now you're good. You didn't fall into that that snare and that that that. Now, if you wanted to create your own vengeance, then you would start becoming the, the a nigga just like that person was. Now you got two niggas instead of one, and that's what happened in this situation between ISUPK and IUIC. Now the IUIC saw them teaching in their spot, and they went over there. You know, with numbers and the dude, the, the dude absolutely lost his mind, you know, screaming. And I'm pretty sure the IUIC went over there, not with the intent on it, you know, of it to become this shouting match. But who knows? But once you saw that this man was totally uncouth and unreasonable, hey, man, the scriptures say flee the presence of a, of a, of a, of a wicked man like that, man. Talk not much with a fool. This dude is a damn fool, man. He ain't right. But then the demon that was on him 
jumped to him. He turned into an R&B thug. <laughs> you got the Yin Yang Twin versus the 90s R&B thug. And it just was a horrible look, man. Now, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and 2. It says, Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart, which is your mind, man. See, your flesh. Okay? You're in these enticements and these different things that, that happen in your mind. You, you got to be able to subdue those things, man. And overcome the flesh through, via the spirit. See, these ain't just things that's written. These are things we have to practice. Remember, we're being prepared to be judges of the world to come. You think the Heavenly Father is going to set these two niggas up? And that though these two groups up to be judges over, over, over the kingdom of heaven? When they can't even s s handle a simple matter as a spot on the street without uh, it leading to the trash that you all have, have, uh, uh, saw. And if you ever saw it, hey, it's, it's out there. You know, it's out there. I, I did a video on it. You know, uh, I believe the elder Apostle Gabar played some of it here. But it was tacky. Very tacky. See? Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride, man. And that's what happens, man. Okay, follow not your own mind. And you know who, who, who's terrible at this? Women. But you know what? The men now are worse than women. When women feel wrong, they feel like they can destroy your property. They can bust your car windows out. And for years, they've lived with no rebuke. They've lived with no one to check them on these behaviors. You see? But you're not justified in destroying someone's property because you're mad. Because you, he cheated on you. You can't do that. You see? So follow not your own mind, man. And these two men seem like they're raised by women. See? Say not who shall control me for my works, for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride, man. Okay, this is uh, Sirach 23. Hey, you got to fear the Lord, man. If you don't fear the Lord, you ain't going to make it. And you're going to do things that are terrible. When, people, you, when, you, when you don't fear the Lord, you teach a doctrine that John the Baptist isn't in the truth. When you don't fear the Lord, you, you a Hebrew Israelite calling on Jesus Christ. When you don't fear the Lord, you resort to gang culture. And the flesh and the things that you learned in Babylon the Great over the fruits of the Spirit. See, a lot of you men, really, you, you think that the fruits of the Spirit and all of these things that we're supposed to do are corny. See? Hey, but you're going to be held accountable for that. And what does the scripture say? Uh, Sirach 27 and 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house all right, shall soon be overthrown. And that's what you're getting ready to witness. When the Lord said judgment shall start at the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, he meant that. The house of the Lord. Those who know that they're Israelites. Because you receive the truth. So you're held to a higher standard. Yeah, the two-thirds are wicked. Yeah, this world is wicked. But you know the truth. <laughs> Man. Verse 6, the fruit declared if the tree have been dressed. And what does the scripture say? You shall know them by their fruits, man. So is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of a man, man. And those two niggas just uttered complete madness, man. I believe verse 30 says something. Yep. Malice and wrath, even these are an abomination. And the sinful man shall have them both, man. Malice and wrath, man. Let's go back to where we were. This is uh, Sirach 23 and 15. The man that is accustomed to opprobrious words will never be reformed all the days of his life. Let's see here. The word opprobrious. 
It says abusive, derogatory, disparaging, right, slanderous, defamatory, scandalous, scornful. And that's why we say the law, statutes, commandments will fix a lot of the things, all right, that our, our, our people fall to, man. And this is a commandment. These, these precepts are commandments. Okay, these are tools that we are to utilize and use to keep ourselves out of trouble. But it all starts with the fear of the Lord. Verse 16, two sorts of men multiply sin. And the third will bring wrath. A hot mind as in a burning fire is as a burning fire. It will never be quenched. Okay, till, he, till it be consumed. A fornicator in the body of his flesh will never cease. Till he hath kindled a fire, man. Now, what does the scripture say? I forget where it is, but I know this uh, wording is in it. Yep, that was in that same chapter, Sirach 12 or 28, rather. And uh, man. I just get to the point, verse 11, and hasty contention kindleth a fire, all right, and then hasty fighting shedded blood, okay? If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched, and both of these come out of thy mouth, okay? So if you blow the spark, what does oxygen do to a fire? It makes the fire bigger. And that's what happened with both of them. But if you spit up on it, it shall be quenched. Both of these come out of thy mouth, man. So the tongue, okay, you, the tongue itself is a tool that, 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 that can e either bring life or death. Now, you guys are going to run up on the wrong people with that tough guy mentality. And one day you're going to find somebody who's really about that, man. You see? Then what? Then there ain't going to be no turning back. See? So let's go back here in Sirach, the fifth chapter. And let's see here. Two, follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not who shall control me for my works, for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride and you never know when it's coming that's why it's best to just do right see even particular things you're holding on to man you know somebody may have hurt you and every day you wake up you know with a with a mind you know just hey some things you just got to let go and, and 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 don't let these christians hijack these principles and make them to seem corny when they, when the scriptures say when when the when they say let go and let god you really have to do that you have to bear Put your burdens on your Hawabashim Yahushai. Because you can drive yourself crazy, okay, looking at, you know, your ex's Instagram, hoping that she get hit by a car or hoping that he dies. And then the nigga is just chilling, living, taking vacations, and you sitting there bitter and, you know, you know, in your mind. Hey, man, put, put that on the Lord, man. Let it go. Or whatever it may be. You got to let these things go. Because they can make your mind bitter, man. See? Now, this is going away from the topic, but these are things that we as Israelites deal with in this flesh. So I'm just speaking from experience, man. Some things you just got to let go. Okay? But don't ever create your own vengeance and be very, very mindful not to let a, a person who, who, who's, who got Satan on them Put Satan on you and bring you down to that low and base way. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, and he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation, be without, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. <laughs> it says, and say not, his mercy is great. Yeah, I, I did that. I went out there and acted a damn fool. But the Lord with us. He hath pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And his indignation rested upon sinners, man. 
So don't let sinful acts make you into a sinner and then think you're somehow justified, okay, in, in being that way, man. Sirach 28 and 7, remember the commandments and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember the covenant of the highest and wink at ignorance. Some things you just got to wink at. You got to know this, this, this is Satan. Let me get the hell up out of here. See, and if this, these principles were, 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 you know, embedded in our people's minds, you know how much, you know, lives would be saved? <laughs> Abstain from strife and thou shalt diminish thy sins for a furious man will kindle strife, man. And that's all that you saw, all right, in that, uh, you know, in that, uh, 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 you know, back and forth between these two men and that these two groups. You see, somebody has to be of the, 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 the peacemaker. Somebody has to say, all right, you got it. Okay? If you see your brother going in a way that is bad, you got to check him. You got to be like, hey, man, hey, let's, let's just, just, just roll. Pull him. If he's a man of the Lord, he'll understand. He'll, he'll get out of his feelings and understand, damn, I was tripping. Because we're putting forth an example. This is our sacrifice here. So what do you think the Heavenly Father is going to do with this sacrifice that these two men offered up? And these two groups, in a, in a nutshell, offer up. <laughs> Here it is, this dude's an Israelite with Christ on his shirt. These dudes pr pr pride themselves in wearing all black. The Lord ain't dealing with none of them. So I'm going to just leave it there. I just wanted to speak on that, man. We, as Israelites, you got to remember, you're, you're held to a standard. You, you, you're not justified in doing evil and being a nigger. There is a way to handle these situations that we find ourselves in. Okay, but it seems like that's the last, <laughs> the, the, the advice and the examples given by, first, first and foremost, all right, uh, uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, in the, in, the, in the righteous men who all came in the right spirit, these examples were put here for us to walk therein. <laughs> Let's see here. One more. Peter spoke on him. Um, and this is not the easiest thing to do. What does this say? Hamashiach, the anointed one, is our example. So this is First Peter's two and twenty-one. For even here and two were ye called, because the Messiah also suffered for us leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps okay now is this going to happen perfect all the time no but you got to know when you slip you see and when you find out you slip then you're held accountable for when the next time you're in that situation not to slip again who did no sin okay who did no sin neither was gal found in his mouth who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened it not, but considered, con committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. You see that? Who his, who his own self bare our sins in his body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live to righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Woo! <laughs> and that goes back to Isaiah. All right, the, the, the uh, 53rd chapter. For ye were as sheep going astray. And how were we going astray? Mentally, in our minds, the way we handle things, what we bow to, you know, our, what we celebrated, what we ate. But now a return unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls, man. See? So with that, hopefully I'll edify it on to the next. Shalom.